Thank you, Carly. Well, we all have goals and aspirations, but nearly half of all adults in America don't even try something because mm. they're afraid they're going to fail. And uh, likewise, you know, Yoda once said, do or do not. There is no try. <laughs> I had not heard that. <laughs> Rich Bracken <laughs> joins us live to explain about failure. Wow. How's a good thing? Good to see you. Great to see y'all. And I, I, it's hard to follow dancing and a Yoda impersonation, but I'm <laughs> yeah. going to try. I'm not afraid to <laughs> fail to try, try to try to follow that. If anyone can do impressive. it, it's you. Yeah. Okay, so why are people so afraid of failure? We are so afraid of failure because we're afraid of looking silly. We're afraid of being wrong. Or we're afraid of not meeting expectations. So we get in this mindset that we start concocting these worst case scenarios of what could go wrong when in actuality, not doing anything is the most wrong thing that we can possibly do. So that is really why we're so afraid to try things. And think about when we were babies, we weren't afraid to try walking and failing all the time, but we get to this point where we're so conscious of what other people think that we don't try at all. How do you overcome that? Well, the first step is redefining what it means to you. We so often think of the word failure as a negative thing, but if you change the terminology, don't use the word failure, use growth opportunity or learning experience. We often get to this, this frame of mind where it's always thinking about the negative. We're not thinking about how we're growing, huh. changing, evolving, and getting better. It allows us to become more resilient and learn about ourselves and learn how we can be better the next time out. Hmm. So how should we, how can, how can we view failure uh, in a way that motivates us uh, to do something different the next time? Sure, there's several different ways that we can look at failure in a different light. Number one, Think about it as a redirection. So if you are told no on a job interview, that's just not the right job for you. If you're denied a client in a sale, that's not the right client for you. Think about those opportunities as a redirection, not a rejection. And there's also an opportunity. If you think about ways that you can get better, you can come back stronger, you can learn from your mistakes and be better the next time, that's the way you can look at it as an opportunity. And unless you're trying to learn to be a skydiving instructor, most times failure is not fatal. So think about those mistakes or those learning experiences as little things and not big catastrophic mistakes. You're going to get another shot or you're going to have another opportunity to succeed. Just keep moving forward. Work so it's through like, it. It's the old saying, when a door closes, a window opens. And then they shove you out. <laughs> <laughs> the window. Or you Hopefully you have a parachute yeah. on when you get shoved out yeah. the window. <laughs> Hey, uh, today is my last day with you in this capacity, so I have so much enjoyed working with you and your, your positive nature, and especially when you would come on the set and we would goof around, and you've been a great asset to my life and I know to here at Fox 4. Well, I'm, I'm very thankful to you, Mark. You've been a joy to work with over the last several years. You've been so much fun to work with, and, and you've taught me a lot, and I have thoroughly enjoyed getting to work with you. And I love the fact that you are a, a big part of my life and a big part of uh, the success that I've had here at Fox 4. So thank you well, so much for being here. You, were about <laughs> you show me It's a big bro bucks, love okay? fest. Yeah, you know, we did this before years ago. It's a big love all right. fest. There we go. All right. <laughs> thank you, Rich. Hey, take care. We'll keep in touch, all right? Absolutely. Social media is a big world. Thank you, buddy.